Oh, hey, how's it going? Wonder, you're probably wondering why I'm sitting on the floor since normally I'm standing up or sitting on a chair in most episodes. Well, this is uh, continuing with our project series uh, here on Lighting Answers, and it's time to talk about lighting up objects kind of from the inside out. Uh, this is the uh, draped over me, uh, is the, the famous, uh, I guess not so famous necessarily, this is uh, strip lighting, LED strip lighting from Philips. Uh, we have an entire uh, unboxing and kind of quick information on it. Uh, and we'll have a full review uh, kind of after we integrate it. Um, and it comes in, uh, you know, two meters, about roughly six feet to start, and you can extend it with uh, one meter um, sections. And it is pretty darn cool. The challenge is always the question of what to do with it. Now, Philips says that this thing is bright. It is crazy bright, and we can show you just how bright it is uh, by going to our little app here. So you can see that it's, uh, this is just in blue, it's not a full um, full white light, but it's basically the, at its, um, if this will, if this app will, there we go, cooperate with me. Um, this is the equivalent at full white and full brightness, the equivalent of two 60 watt incandescent light bulbs. So it can definitely uh, light up part of a room, an object, just about anything. And so my question, of course, was how do I integrate this? Of course, I had to purchase it, part of which I want to review it and show it off to you guys, but also I had some adjustments that I had to make in the furniture um, in the place, and you'll see that as the newer episodes have come out over the past couple months. Had some water damage from a crazy monsoon storm a few months ago, and so had to replace the bookcase and the TV stand went from kind of a wood-based one to this kind of cooler uh, metal and glass. And I, I thought about it, you know, you know, color, you know, contrast and whatnot, but I was also thinking, how do I make this really awesome in terms of how do I sort of light it up? I had to lose, because it's pretty wide, so I had to lose in the back corner. To, there used to be an um, uplight back there, and that's no longer, because there's just not enough room for it. But if I can make the TV stand glow, without kind of disrupting and causing viewing problems for, well, TV and movies, then I've got a hit on my hands. And because the Philips Hue um, is pretty accurate, color-wise, dimming-wise, you can get it down to pretty darn next to nothing in terms of a uh, dim level. And this actually seems to do better, I would say, in terms of co colors and saturated colors than its um, the regular color changing light bulb and the flood bulb that we've already reviewed on here. Here's the link to that too. So how do you do it? What do you do? So I spent actually last night working on just using some good old painters, you know, regular blue tape, um, just some different positions. And if you, and I'll share those, uh, those images with you, but depending on the configuration, you know, of how you want this lit, whether you want which level, the top level, the middle level, the bottom level, do you want the light really focused downward, do you want it upward, how do you want that to work, there's various problems because again it's a light strip and it's got individual LEDs so if you put it say straight up you're going to see the LEDs right up against the glass and that's just not a very good experience. Same thing with with um, with going straight up here, and even though you can put it to the edge, and if you walk away, you're not going to see it. Someone is still going to see it, and it doesn't really make sense. So direct uplighting through glass, even if it's frosted, doesn't really make a lot of sense. And the other challenge is, even if you go and you put it straight down, you're still going to actually see the strip. You're going to see whatever um, adhesive is there, the back of the strip, it's going to cause a shadow. And of course you could just kind of curl up and stick it underneath and have a, an interesting kind of view um, like that as well. That's really not a good shot for you to see that. But the challenge is lighting something like this sort of takes um, a little bit of uh, something that you might not think of. So the solution, as we've kind of gone through the, um, the photos for you to, to show off, the solution turns out cross-lighting it, interior only, um, 
inside and that's under the top shelf here. The top shelf has a little bit more of a lip so it'll diffuse the LEDs um, and you won't see it as much. So if you do something like this and you put it right up against the lip of it, the edge, and you interior light it, you get, a, you get enough glow against the glass, you get into enough interior illumination, if you can see this, this is about halfway, 45% uh, intensity, but you can see that it will um, glow fairly nicely, even though it's, shot, it's going literally um, straight across. And the other thing is, this is not a long enough strip, about six feet roughly, uh, maybe a little shorter than that. This is not long enough to make a complete um, edge around the stand. So how do you get around that? The, as it turns out, this stand, of course, has a, a cable management feature in the back. And honestly, you don't need to light the back of it because the back is really not that interesting. It's going to get enough light from the light in the front pushing towards the back and also the sides. So you're going to have a gap at the back where you're gonna actually start the strip and go around and meet somewhere about there. So now the thing is, you've figured it out, you've made your experiments. Always when you're doing something like this and you're gonna mount something using its own adhesive, um, you really have to experiment before you decide to commit to it. And so I always recommend trying that out. Use some tape, mount it in multiple different ways. I spent at least an hour playing with it um, last night to try and get uh, different, um, you know, various illumination levels. <laughs>